I saw the movie Death on the Nile, released in theaters on February 11th, 2022. This movie is based off the Agatha Christie novel. Death on the Nile is directed by Kenneth Branagh. The movie stars Gal Gadot, Emma Mackey, Army Hammer, Tom Bateman, Annette Bening, Letitia Wright, Sophie Okonedo, Rose Leslie, Ali Faisal, Jennifer Saunders, Don French, Russell Brand, and Kenneth Branagh. My rating for Death on the Nile is a 4 out of 5, and here's why. Death on the Nile is another Hercule Poirot mystery. In the story, we find Perot vacationing in Egypt. There, he would run into a good friend of his named Book. Book would invite him to this post-wedding gathering of a elite rich couple. That gathering is held on a private ferry on the Nile River. But once again, Perot finds himself in the middle of a crime scene when a person of that party was found murdered. Perot would once again investigate the people on the boat to try to find this murderer. I am not familiar with the novel Death on the Nile, never read the novel before, nor have I seen any previous adaptations, whether it be as a movie or a TV series. Upon looking this movie up on IMDb, I noticed that there hasn't been many adaptations in movies or in TV series compared to Murder on the Orient Express. When I watched Kenneth Branagh's Murder on the Orient Express, I also went into that movie not knowing the original source material. Like with that and Death on the Nile, watching this story unfold surprised me. This movie was well written to adapt that novel to this movie. The acting performances from everyone was well done. With the acting, it is key for a murder mystery movie like this to provide that substance to these characters as the investigation goes goes along with these interrogations. And with the acting, Emma Mackey is a standout with her performance. I find Kenneth Branagh's directing in Death on the Nile better than his directing in Murder on the Orient Express. I find the pace of this movie to be great. The pace of the movie really kept you engaged and intrigued on these characters. The movie builds well on understanding these characters and their motives as you go along into that third act to justify these characters' actions. The CG and the green screen effects in this movie are very noticeable. Kind of makes the movie not feel that real, but these effects aren't bad that it takes you out of the movie. Overall, there may have been nitpicky things with the effects in this movie, but this movie is great. The story, the performances, I really enjoyed watching Death on Denial. That is my review of Death on Denial. Please check out more of the Spellgo YouTube channel, and thank you for watching.